Hello everyone, this is Will. This is Alex. Welcome back to another episode of They Mostly Come Out at Night. Oh boy. Mostly. Well, at least the ending didn't uh, didn't like completely bomb this time. No, it was very consistent. Yes, consistent in certain ways. In being this movie was amazing. Um, trash comes to mind, <laughs> but entertaining trash. This okay. movie is um. There's it's like going to a restaurant and you order the most unhealthy pile of monkey fuck on the menu and you eat it and your arteries are clogged and your fucking heart is racing and your stomach feels like it's about to heave it all out but you know it's but just it too tasted, good it tasted good okay but it tasted good so you kept going and you regret your whole life decisions but it tasted good but you know what fuck it in the moment it tasted delicious. And that was this movie. That's what this was. This is some delicious shit. <laughs> yes. This is like highly entertaining. At, for probably all the wrong reasons. But you know what? That's what we, we're here for. So I can't even begin to consider their intentions behind this thing. I don't know what the thought process was here. The they only thought like... process is that I can see is we saw Friday the 13th and we have five dollars and um there's some woods out here well it's like let's make a movie psycho killer in the woods let's just have a bunch of death scenes and a barely like threaded together plot barely there is barely a plot in this movie it's just people die and some more people die, and then people look for the killer, and more people die. Yeah, that that's that's it. It's like people yeah. die in the movie. Like yeah, literally. I mean, to be fair, the movie never like slows down because of that. Thankfully, but yeah, it's just strung together death scenes and a very loose plot of a bunch of friends trying to find another friend and then a sheriff gets involved and bada bing bada boom and and like i mean <laughs> I, I i like i hate to spoil the movie for you but that's pretty much it it's just it, like murdering spree friends abandon another friend <laughs> and then gain a conscience and go back out into the woods to be fair those friends were being chased by a fucking well they were um... but like our dude goes, like, insane for some reason. Because he feels guilt over leaving the friend in the woods. So he just runs back to the woods with a fucking stick and stabs a tree. All I know <laughs> is the title is true for this, okay? The title is true for this movie because don't go in the woods. That is the movie. Don't go in the woods. Do you know what? Just don't. Just forget about camping. Don't. Forget about hiking. Don't. Don't do just it. Just forget about like trail running. All the people in this movie don't went to the woods. Bad things happen. You know, it's just a bad decision. This proof that if you ever want proof of not going <laughs> camping, just show your friends this. And you know, if you're in a wheelchair, especially don't go in the woods. You're going to have a hell of a time. Now, I also want to mention we watched a movie recently. You guys probably remember it because the, the name, The Boogans, um, was filmed in our lovely state of Utah. And we have another one. Um, now we have another one. Another banger? I, question mark? That's not a banger. It's a, This just, is a banger. In, no, this in is In the a, wrong reasons. This movie is fucking <laughs> incredible. This is fucking... Now, this was filmed... We have, like, two, like, big skiing canyons up in Utah in, like, the Salt Lake Valley. Um, there's Big Cottonwood Canyon and Little Cottonwood Canyon. This was filmed in Big Cottonwood Canyon. Parts Whichever of one has Brighton, this is filmed up there. Yeah, Brighton Ski, Ski Resort actually makes a famous, like, multiple appearances in this. Multiple appearances. Um, there's a tiny appearance um, by Heber, and but 90% of the movie is filmed up, up that Cottonwood Canyon around all sorts of trails and... 
all sorts of things that if you live here, you've you've been there. Yeah, and it, been up those trails. You'll recognize them immediately, and you recognize it all. Like it's all very recognizable, and it it just makes. Cause it, he, it kind of made me want to go into the woods. Like it's. I know it's very cozy. We're not, we're not supposed to go into the woods, but it, it made me like, like low key want to go for a hike. <laughs> um, I mean, listen. They but at the time of this recording, it's eleven thirty-seven, and I probably nah. would not want to do that. No, but it does. Uh, look, look, they got some lovely, lovely shots. Some the, very the cinematography is good until the last like five minutes of the movie. Until the last five minutes, when for. It just goes into potato they, mode. They like their camera just malfunctioned, I guess. Um, but they got lots of pretty locations, and the fact that this movie takes place here just it just amuses me to no end. So I guess we should describe our like main characters. So it, it they're kind of main characters, but I mean they're, they they're, are they're they're the main characters just because they focus on them the most. I mean they're like. Well, they're, they're not... the ones that live longest. Well, yeah, but like, <laughs> we don't see like half the time we don't see a lot of them because they're no. too busy focusing on other people getting murdered, just random people getting murdered. And we'll get yeah. into the death because that's literally like ninety percent <laughs> of the movie is just people dying it on people hiking trails, getting murdered on hiking trails. That, that is literally ninety percent <laughs> of the movie. The ten percent is what we're going to talk about now, which is our our four main characters. You exaggerate. It's like fifty fifty. But I do exaggerate, but it, it just felt like you know they wanted to just make a slasher film where like everyone dies and they just had, they did and they just had to have like a certain reason why we're in this canyon, so they introduced these four characters. Well, see, they had to have characters who at the very end of the movie would have a reason to kill our right. Well, exactly. Like there, has, our slasher. There has to be a reason. There has to be a conclusion, right? It's a movie. Well, so, like, you say that, but our last movie clearly didn't think about that when <laughs> well, they made it. Yeah, I get, I get fair point. When they made the pit, they were just like, what's fair the conclusion? Point. They're just like, what's the conclusion? Uh, I don't know. Go it's in the just, hole and die. Uh, go in the hole, accept your fate and die. <laughs> Whereas, uh... What, what a way to end So movie. with this movie, you know, whoever wrote it, is at the bare fucking minimum and, and was thinking about, like, oh, yeah, like, movies need endings, right? Yep. So... Because, yeah, most of the movie, like half of it, is these four people camp hiking. So they're hiking to a cabin is what I'm To a cabin, collecting. yeah. And they never... And they never get to the cabin. No. But they, like, are constantly, like, camping out. They're having fun. They're teasing each other. They're, like, razzing each other. It's just, like, a, a group of friends hiking and it's, camping. It's all, trust me, it's all very, like goofy it's very horribly acted horribly written well what's weird is all of the entire film is adr so they pre they recorded um all the dialogue afterwards i'm not sure why maybe the audio didn't sound good in the canyons or something maybe they didn't yeah or i mean maybe they didn't have microphones that could be too i mean um, honestly my assumption kind of is that when they fucking film this thing up in the fucking woods there's they probably just captured like Oh God! The, All like, the fucking wind and the trees. Ambient, the yeah. ambient noises were probably like insane. And then they got movie. back, and they're like, "Oh shit!" And they're like, "God damn it! You can't hear a goddamn thing." So yeah, it's all it's all at pre, like, um, like ADR like, uh, audio. Yeah, it's all dubbed over. Um, and so I mean, the dialogue is the special. line the line delivery, especially, is just like it's so. It's so bad. It's it has the thing is like you know with a lot of movies like you watch it and it's like there's bad acting but there's usually there's a bright spot. Usually it's like half and half. Like some of the actors are bad, some of them are good. No, well, in this it's it's all bad. Well, even in movies we've watched on this podcast, like at least there's like one good actor or actress, right? Mm -hmm. like, there's one person that knows what they're doing. But in this, no one did. My biggest appreciation is that in this is that there's like a a younger like sheriff deputy character who's like always got this shit eating grin on his face. He's like the dude broiest sheriff, and I'm... it's great because you can tell 
he knows. He knows what movie he's in. Yeah. He knows what's going on. A lot of them are, it's, it's, it's almost gets like tongue in cheek. Like oh, they it's... know how shitty this movie is, it's but they keep so going with it. It's goofy. It is very goofy. And I think they know it. It's kind of like, it gets self-aware. After it has a while. that, it has a very like, oh, it's just a bunch of friends in the woods. It has that kind of feeling. So yeah, they're just going and, and like, you know, after a while, which we'll get to, they encounter the murderer. Um, after he's like killed like 20 people, 20 other people. Well, cause the movie literally, literally starts with a random nondescript woman. I was kind of like confused I, I, like, from the get. I was like kind of <laughs> confused because there's just a woman running down like a little waterfall and then she falls and dies and she falls and then just blood happens in the water and she dies. Yeah. <laughs> And, and then, and then we get our our people hiking through the woods. Is like, for like we see them for like ten seconds. And then we get a do a, a camera guy wanting to take a picture of a train. He's no no no. We get a guy who's just walking by like a river. Oh right, yeah. With like binoculars, and he's dressed like a safari man, and he just walks around. And then the gets, camera like z- walks up to him, and then his arm gets chopped off. And then he, like, kind of falls down and, like, has this look on his face of, like, mild annoyance. <laughs> and then we just hear a chopping noise and then and that's over. Away, yeah. Like, <laughs> And then we get, like, I a do uh, like, a photographer with a tripod that's trying to get pictures and leaves his, like, grandma Oh, my behind. God. It's like a middle-aged man walking up and you hear a choo-choo train that's, like, awkwardly 80 yard Because, you know, fun fact, if you go up this canyon, there's no fucking railway up there. Um... But they like ADR in a choo choo, and he's like, "I gotta get the train, mom." <laughs> and the mom's like, "No, wait, Daniel, 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 Dan, Daniel, Daniel." Have you ever seen that like thing where they dub the animals, where it's like Alan, yeah. Alan, Alan? It was like that. But oh like, shit, Daniel, Daniel, yeah. Daniel, Daniel. That's literally this, because he like walks up and starts climbing up like a mountainside. And then he looks, so he's like hanging, and then like his his, his the camera his, ca- his camera bag cord like gets pulled around his neck because someone's like and I don't know okay so I don't understand this because he's still holding on <laughs> while getting choked he's so... so he's just accepting his fate because he's like he's holding on for dear he really because if, if he just because if he just because if he just let go. Like, he would stop being choked because he would fall back on the guy. <laughs> but he's just, he's, he's clinging on while being, like, just choked to death. Well, someone's grabbing his fucking camera bag, and then he, like, falls and is, like, laying dead on a rock. And then, like, I'm not joking, like, ten feet away, there's two people in, like, the river, like, splashing each other with water. <laughs> like, they didn't hear they didn't or see, see anything. And then meanwhile, and it's like, it's, like, <laughs> it's his, right there. His dead, bloody corpse is right there, and they're just splashing water, like having a fun time. And then they just go away. They don't ever see it. No, they don't. And then we get a quick shot of like the the grandma, like leaning over the trail, like uh And then like the like <laughs> fake blood drips, and that's it. Like what? What happened? What was the scene where... What happened? Was it the woman walking through and, like, just random shit starts getting thrown at her? And, like, she, like, gets her cheek cut or whatever? Oh, I don't even fucking remember when that happened. That might have been before this. Or was this. that a dude? Or... No, it was a girl. <laughs> what the fuck was... No. What the fuck? I'm getting my scenes mixed up. Yeah, she, like, walks through the woods. She's just walking. And, like, we see, like, something fly across the screen. <laughs> We're like, what the hell? <laughs> like, leads are just, like, yeah. shuffling. Yeah, well, she's just, like, walking, and then, like, like someone, like, off-camera just, like, shakes a leaf. And she looks over, and then she looks over, and someone off-camera shakes another, like, leaf. And she goes, like, something flies past her face, and she grabs it, and it's all, it's, it, like, covered in There's, blood. There's, like, blood dripping, and then, like, she gets, like... Does she get stabbed by something? Impaled by another, like, spear. And then that's it. Yeah. Like, why? And then we also get the couple in the... in the My favorite scene. <laughs> this is, like, the best, best death scene. This 
it's a couple in a fucking like Volkswagen like hippie van all decked out and they're like making out and the woman's like they're about to have sex the woman's like it's just it's just not perfect it's just not perfect mind you I'm acting like way more fucking natural well, than they are um, and... but yeah she's just, it's just not perfect and the guy's like it's fine <laughs> it's fine and then like we hear like some noise once she, he's like <laughs> He's, like, awkwardly talking to her while loading a gun. No, he, like... Okay, I don't know why he does this. So he opens up the door to the van and gets out, like, a fucking tackle box and opens it up, (laughs) and then he stuffs his wallet in his pocket, and then he takes out his gun and starts loading. But the whole time he's doing this, he's just like, don't worry, babe. I'll get him. I got him. I got him. him. They they won't do nothing. Those peeping toms. He's not going to do anything. Yep, no. Okay, those peeping toms. It's so awkward. It's painful. It's it is so like next level cringe. Yeah, that you're just like, oh god. And then he like walks away and starts like yelling at the peeping tom while it shows the woman trying her hardest to look concerned as she like scrunches. Strug- her- I would say struggling to look concerned. Oh, she's like scrunching her eyebrows and like <laughs> like moving around and then she tries like closing the door and she can't close it properly and the guy sees something off screen he points his gun at it and then it cuts away and then the woman's still in the thing and we see his bloody hand like slap the <laughs> slap the window and then he like comes up to it and like spits blood blood and then something starts Some, well okay so and then like Something, like, pulls the rock un- from underneath the, the car. So that's holding it in place. And yeah. I was like, okay, so it's going to roll. <laughs> so they're just going to roll it down a cliff. I was like, they're going to just, like, you know, he's just going to push it and it's going to roll. Because why else would he take out the rock? Why else, yeah. No. She, like, locks, barricades herself in this van and it starts rocking back and forth. And I'm like, oh, that's okay. And then it rocks back and forth, and then finally it tips over and just fucking, like, careens <laughs> off this We get a clip. fucking day-for-night shot of this van <laughs> it was It was so good, they had to adjust the, uh, they adjust the shot. We had it. to see it, Will, because there is another fucking day-for-night later that is a lot more um, clouded. Are they barely day-for-night. Barely. One? But in this, no, we had to see it. We had to see them careening this poor van off a fucking mountainside. And then it, like, rolls down, and then they start it on fire. <laughs> it just starts on fire. Literally, someone just, like, pours, like, flame retardant in there, just lights it on fire, and they just film it while a woman ADRs screaming over it. In the meantime, by the way, between all these scenes, we get, like, quick scenes of our four people well, they're, like, walking through the woods. They're walking through the woods. Playing and they're, around. They're not going to make it to the cabin in time, so they... S- they they have to spend the night. They have to spend the night. He tells them a ghost story. It's just kind of boring stuff that we don't really need to go over. It's fine. It's fi- it's 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 flavor, but it's not really important. No, it's... like nothing. Like there's no like exposition because you don't. Why do you need exposition in a movie like this? You don't. Thanks. It's, it's just like flavor. It's just people hiking and they're trying their best to like act like hikers. Friends. Yes, yeah. and friends, and it's awkward and cringy, and it's beautiful. Um, we get like in the meantime. What's we, the one where he's like keeps stabbing her, and then oh, the painter. That's so. Right. There's this fucking. Okay, this is the next one. Yeah. There's this woman in the woods with her baby. Why does she collect dirt water? I have no idea. Was that to clean her brush? I think it's for her brush. I I I hate to say this, but. When you're painting, I doubt you want to be cleaning your brush brushes with like dirt water. That's all she had, Will. She's in the woods. But wouldn't it make your wouldn't it like ruin your? I'm not an artist. I don't know, but like, wouldn't it ruin your painting? Well, she's in the woods. What choice does she have? Well, I mean, true, but her, like, I mean, it's a rough time. She's she's got a child there, you know. It's like, she's like hanging it on a branch. Her baby is hanging on a fucking branch, she's like bouncing around. <laughs> eating a chocolate bar and she goes and collects some dirt water and starts painting her fucking Bob Ross painting and now, then hears noises. I do want to give some context. Um, so we looked into it. The director of this movie is in fact a, a pornographic film director. You couldn't notice it. Well, no, not at all from this scene. Definitely not. No, well you couldn't notice it from every scene. Oh yeah. From how everything's shot. Well, like I, I love how he gets like close-ups of like all like the 
asses and like it's not really close ups of I'm surprised because they don't get a lot of close ups of like chests or anything. You know what you, I'm shocked about? There's Will? no there's no nudity. That's what's shocking. It's weird. It's very violent. Will, this movie's very violent, but it's there's no nudity. What kind of a slasher movie doesn't have nudity? That, this a one. A porno director was like you know, my slasher no nudity. Yeah, like that's kind of odd. You think he would like go for the gold, you know? He'd be like, "Okay, we're gonna have all the nudity." He's like, "Oh, slasher's movie, slasher movies have has nudity." That's my thing. All right, hold my beer. But no, he was just like tasteful, I guess. Yeah. So she's painting. So like, we get monster vision coming up behind her, and then she gets like impaled multiple times and like it's so awkwardly shot dude well, and then she's like oh 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 like the, the multiple like the same like sound every single time and then and she's like getting impaled multiple times this is where he really shines and then she the, like, and then she's like oh like and he, then yeah because he like points it up and then it like we see like you know, it's stabbed through the paint and the, the kids like missing, missing. Hmm. Hmm. We also get introduced to our cop characters. Yes. So we have a like kind of a a, 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 a rot. It, how do I say this? He's a thick boy. Mean? He's thick. <laughs> <laughs> He's thick as a chocolate shake. This man. That man is thick, and um, he is and it's him thick. and his. The dude bro sheriff. Somebody? The dude, um, the dude bro sheriff is And here. they go visit um, Brighton Town store. Yes, And our, um, our dude bro sheriff plays with a pinball machine that has a scantily clad woman on it, which... Yes. Is the closest we get to nudity I'm, in this entire movie. I don't believe that pinball machine is still there, unfortunately. It's but not. the store is, and uh, boy, does everything else look the fucking same. Yeah. I've been on a lot of these trails that they went on, actually, so... Yeah. Um, you can go to all the places they film this fucking movie on location, but maybe. it's all but it's all them like investigating like that. There's been m- murders and missing people. We I get can't a quick. Remember why they go to the country store? The guy tells them some like cryptic thing, and then like that's it. They walk away. But he's telling the cryptic thing to our thick boy, while dude bro just doesn't give a shit. He's just there to fucking vibe on his uh, pinball machine. But we also get a quick scene. Well, the sheriff gets in an airplane. And like flies around. I don't know what they're looking for. This is the most pointless scene. He gets in a fucking airplane. He's like, I don't think he's gonna show up today. It's so and awkward. then they just because it's away. just like it's just shots of like forest, right? And then there's a cameraman just awkwardly squeezed in to the back of the plane, filming the back of the sheriff's like head, and he's like talking, and he's like, "Yeah, he won't show up today." And then it's like keeps going, keeps going. And then he looks at the pilot. He's not going to show up today. Yep. And then the pilot's like, <laughs> they just my favorite the thing. back of the head of the pilot. <laughs> it's just, they clearly hired a pilot to f- film our actor in this fucking airplane. And the pilot is just like, probably didn't say a fucking word. No, you just see the back of his head. It's just the back of his head. is just like flying. And that's it. And then that's it. They just fly and look at the forest, and they know by looking at the forest from thousands of feet in the sky that our killer is not going to show up today, I guess. Are there any other death scenes before we get into the main four? Okay. I don't think so. I know so. There's, like, there's one during the main four that we're going to get into as well. For some reason, they just had to add this extra banger in here. Two. Two extra guys. Well, there's people. the guy who gets stabbed by our guy, and then there's the wheelchair man. Oh yeah, that's right. So they added two, just because they wanted more deaths. They added two more deaths in. Oh no, we there is one because Did I. Do we miss one? This one made no sense at all. But that didn't even make sense, I guess. Oh no, the Fisher guy. You remember the fisherman? Let's talk about this one later. Okay. Um, no, there. <laughs> there's a fucking scene during one of the scenes when they're camping, and there's like a fucking. So th- there's a point in the movie I don't even remember what the fuck happens, but for some goddamn reason, one 
of the party of four, like, stays behind. Right. The dude stays behind because he's waiting. I guess they're going to meet up with some other people and he wants to wait for them. I don't remember what the deal is. I think that was it because they mention another Cause group he gets like Because sp- he gets spooked by a random person just walking down the trail. And then he decides to stay behind. So, like, they're all separated and they're all camping out at night again. And there's, like, just literally the- a scene just starts with like a sleeping bag getting ruffled. Oh yeah, okay. And then like couple, some yeah. like a knife comes through a sleeping bag and some woman's bloody. And then there's like a she guy gets, like strung up on a uh, she like gets a tree. Strung up on a tree and we see something like I don't know what's he's hitting the like sleeping a, bag like with. Like logs getting thrown at it and in the meantime there's a guy who's like in a sleeping bag and the knife keeps coming through. Well, before that he's just him. like eh. He's just like I guess. I I guess they're implying that the murderer trapped them in the sleeping bags, but like it's so okay. You say that it's not well done. He's just ruffling. I right? know, and then he like gets stabbed in the throat and bleeds out. Uh, bleeds out, and then then the other woman gets like hit with a machete. A, 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 the guy a like times. pokes her, like shish kebabs her, and then that's it. Can we get to my favorite death scene, fisherman? Please. Okay, so because it's the next day, the dude that stayed behind is for some reason collecting wood, and he just and then sits, he start, starts cuddling with it. He's, he cuddles with it and sits under a rock and, and starts fantasizing about the time when he was playing in the river with the like two probably women, like a day or two ago, literally. And then he sees a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I, this scene is so ridiculous. So he, he sees a fisherman. And they both just, like, politely wave to each other, but the fisherman sees something, and you see, this is our introduction to our murderer. Yeah. It pans up, and there's, like, a mountain man standing on top of the on top of the rock where that yeah. guy is cuddling with the wood, but, he, but the mountain man can't see the guy underneath. And then somehow, and then, in, and, in ways that break physics, and then, like, yeah. we just see, like... A bear trap? Like, for no reason. Like, the guy... The, <laughs> no. Like, there is no context. <laughs> no, no, no. Me. Like, because it literally, like, shows the, the mountain man coming. Like, shows him. And then, literally, it just shows a bear trap. <laughs> I can't. This it shows a bear trap just flying at this guy's okay, face. Okay, no, 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 no. You say fisherman. flying. <laughs> Flying implies speed. It's like slowly coming at him. Slowly floating. It's just like they someone held a bear trap like above a camera and like, like slowly. It's like the Austin Powers like. The um, fuck? Him, yeah. it? Get out of the way! Ah! <laughs> the steamroller just like the bear trap. Get out of the way! Ah, uh, get out of the way! Ah, uh, because he just stands there, and then it hits him, and like it like clamps on him, and then it lifts him in the air, and they do the mountain man comes down and just stabs him a bunch of times with his staff, and then the guy is just like still thinking about the women. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand this scene. And then he's, he's like literally looking yeah. at the fisherman getting murdered and thinking about <laughs> splashing around with his friends. And then he's like, the oh, river. he's like, oh yeah, there's danger here. And then he starts running. And then in the meantime, our, uh, our, oh, our yes. three remaining people are. So one of the doing something. one of the women is really worried be, about the guy who stayed behind, um, and she wants to go look for him, but the other two want to like kind of play around, and they're like, "Oh, he's gonna show me some like survival tricks." Survival tricks. So they go and he sets up like a little <laughs> trap for animals, and she's and he's he puts trail mix in. She's, she's like, oh, she's, she's like, okay, and then she's, she's like, holding the fucking <laughs> she's holding the fucking rope. <laughs> And he, <laughs> she's he, holding a fucking rope, <laughs> and he like puts. The and and it's supposed to be like you hold it, and then if you pull on it or let it go, it's like gonna. It, s- it like <laughs> smashes the animal, I guess. I don't. It doesn't like it's not like a trap. I don't like know a, the point of this. So he puts his fingies underneath there, <laughs> and she pulls the rope as a joke. <laughs> slams his fingers in there and then she's like oh are you okay okay let me take a look at it he just fucking slaps his hand and then, and then like, fucking runs he's away like, son of a bitch <laughs> son of a bitch I, I I think what's making me laugh so hard is the fucking <laughs> sound effect 
<laughs> that they play when the fucking rock falls on Because <laughs> they play like that, like... It's like that, like, generic, like, bone-crunching, like, aggressive <laughs> bone-crunching sound yeah. effect. And it's just, like... It's, it's very a little dramatic. excessive. It's very dramatic. Oh, my God. And so, then, eventually... They run back to the camp. And the and, woman's still there, worried. And it's, like, a few hours later, and she's like, oh, like, the other girl's sleeping. And he's like, oh, perfect. I'll go, I'll go wake her up. I'm gonna get up. some payback. Uh, this is one of my favorite oh scenes. Oh my god, this scene I, is incredible. I, just because it is one of the best lines of dialogue I think I've heard in a long time. Um, Ever. So he, <laughs> she's sleeping, and to get back at her, which is, it's kind of harsh. It's a little harsh. She, he like ties her up in the sleeping bag. And ties it off like at the top so she can't get out. And she's like, she's like, he's like, say uncle, say uncle, say uncle, bag of bitch. Say it, bag of bitch. Yeah, that's a bag of bitch. Bag of wow. bitch. I do dialogue good. I'm not going to lie. That's bag fucking bitch. incredible. Bag of bitch. And then to further go on, like not just lets her out, like not lets her, doesn't let her out. And then throws the rope over a branch. And strings it up over a branch. strings it up. And then is like, and just like ties it off and leaves her, and then leaves her, and then you just hear her like, "Let me out!" And he's just like, "You ready, say uncle?" Like you just hear him like five miles away. So she like <laughs> rips the hole open. She's just ripping a hole, and then she like looks through it and sees the, the mountain, mountain man, man guy running through the woods. And she's like, "There's someone out there. I'm serious. I'm not joking around. I'm really serious." And, and then the guy comes out with a stick and starts poking her. And then he gets poked. He gets fucking murdered. He gets stabbed by the mountain man. Yep. And then she opens the bag and sees it and then gets out while the guy gets dragged away and she minus like, minus an arm. She climbs down and enter her just wandering into the woods. Enter her running through the woods and also, in the meantime, our other guy who stayed behind has also spent the whole time running through the fucking woods. Yeah. When he finally gets back to like a camp, but they're not there... And he gets eventually he meets up with the other woman, one of the women, not the, not the one who was in the sleeping bag. Right. The other one. And they they run through the woods and because she finds like the remains of the one of the guys and they walk across like this abandoned cabin that, oh, baby, did the fucking filmmakers get their goddamn use out of this cabin? Oh, yeah. There's like tattered like clothes and sleeping dolls bags everywhere. And... Dolls is all creepy. And they go in there. They, they find the main guy. For some reason, our guy who's alive, he like... I wonder if they're trying to imply that he's a cannibal. Well, I was going to say, I don't know what... I think Remember they're... when his, uh, he had an Australian accent for no reason? Oh, our, our wandering dude? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they're walking through there and it's like... I guess they're implying he's a cannibal. I mean, I don't know. But they're walking I, through I, there. I, I assume that he's a cannibal. That's what they're... I think that... Because he was dragging bodies back to his house. And they find a trap and they miss... Like It's like a fucking log that almost hits him. And they find the dead body. And then they run out. Because they walk in there. They're like looking for food. And then as soon as the trap goes off and they find the dead body, like the like, woman's like... Ugh. And then the guy's like, There's no point! There's no point! Let's go! Like, let's go! Let's go! And they just run through the woods. And they finally get to Brighton. Well, they, they, they spend the night Oh, that's right. on yeah. top of, like, the fucking mountaintop. Which is weird because then they, like, wake up and they're, like, uh, So Brighton's, else. like, a ski area. And they wake up and he looks up and he's, like, looking and it's, like, he can't see. It kind of looks like a cross. And then he looks and it's the fucking ski lift. And so he's, like, we made it. And they follow it and they find Brighton Ski Resort. And then resort. they go to a hospital. And then he starts having grief because he left, he abandoned his other friend up there. In the meantime, by the way, she's just been running through the fucking woods. Yeah. Oh, also, um, we totally forgot, but there was a scene when our people were running through the woods. And there's a random hiker. Oh, you're right. And he hears, like, jingling. Because the, um, the mountain man has a fucking, he has two sticks. He has a stick pokey stick and his walking stick decoration walking stick 
and it's got like all these chains and stuff on it and jewelry and he sees it and this guy just like picks up this stick and is just like hmm and just starts walking with it on his trail and, and then, then they're all hiding and they hear the fucking noise they, they think it's him so they like get out and they're ready to attack him and the guy stabs our hiker yep and, and it's then, like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry but to add insult to injury, our mountain man dude is right there and throws a spear into this guy's heart. See, here's here's the important distinction, though. You say spear. Oh, it's just a... He's a literally stick. just throwing... Like, go to the forest and just find, like, little sticks and just throw them at your friends. That's what he's doing, but they're acting like, oh, it's lethal. Because he, like, throws one at the woman and it, like, stabs her and then he throws one at her face and it supposedly cuts her face. But they're obviously just, like, tiny little baby sticks. So that's why they had to go to the hospital yeah. because she had She's injuries. lost a lot of blood. And, yeah, the guy feels guilty now. And then we get a quick scene of the cops. At, at a cafe. And, like, the hospital cafeteria. And I love the woman comes in and she's like, I don't know if the guy is stable. I think we should, like, keep him here for You should keep an eye on him because he's... I think if he he might lose it basically, and then literally <laughs> next scene is, is running him running back into the woods, him running back to the forest. <laughs> That's filmmaking, true filmmaking. You have your you have quick little. You don't waste any goddamn time. Quick little exposition, and then boom, <laughs> it happens. And then we get our first introduction to our wheelchair man. Oh yeah, there's he, just some he guy makes multiple scenes wheeling up a, a <laughs> fucking mountain. L listen, I'm all for dedication, and if you, whoever, who, yeah, anyone can hike, right? This guy is like struggling to get up this hill in a wheelchair. In between scenes, we keep seeing him until at one point he gets up to the very top and is just like sitting there, and um, unfortunately for him, he turns into a mannequin. Because um, they, they just took, like, a fucking, you know, department store mannequin and stuffed it into his clothes and sat it in the wheelchair. And then his head, the head gets chopped off. And then off. the knife chops up the head and the and head it rolls down And the then hill. we see the fucking, excuse me, C, in quotation marks, the wheelchair flying down the cliff. You don't really see it. You just see <laughs> glimmers like of, like, the light glinting off the freaking wheelchair. Because they do, like, day for night, but they fucking, they really fuck with the brightness. They should have just done what they did with the van scene. Where it's just, like, barely nighttime. Yeah, barely. So you, you can see, see like, it in all its you glory. You see, like, a glimmer of, like, the metal. That's it. Rolling down with the yep. mannequin in it. And then that's the end of Wheelchair Man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and they... So, the fucking guy... The guy goes back into the forest, looks for her. While this is happening, we see the woman that's actually in the forest. She makes it to the cabin. She picks up a rock. She's gonna go in. She finds a bigger, like, a stick with a, like, a thing She's also, in the meantime, like... Remember, she goes to a creek, and, um... She takes out, like, a... A, a, a fucking... <laughs> 90% eaten candy bar. <laughs> like dunks it. <laughs> she like dunks it in the river and then like eats it. And it was like, you had to like, like get it all soggy, I guess. Why? I have no idea. And then she goes and well, like. She goes in like the, the cabin and remember she finds like a dirty plate and just starts licking it. <laughs> it's like it. a plate that has like ketchup on it and she just licks it. <laughs> just uh... <laughs> it just licks a random plate in this dirty ass house. And then she goes in there and like we see a box and it like shakes. Well, cause every time we see the mountain man he has like a, a box like strapped to him and he's running around with it. Yeah. And she sees it and it like moves and then she looks in it and is like She's like, Oh my god. And then the mountain man comes in and like corners her in the back and, and then she tries to like like get out the window she like tries to stab him with the wood thing my favorite and... thing though is that she tries to stab him with the wood thing and then she drops it and then she's like oh and it's all hopeful and get like tries to get out the window and then i'm like what is it what is it and then she looks over and it's like a fucking one foot thick <laughs> like a little tiny window. crack in the window and i'm like that's what you you <laughs> dropped your weapon for oh okay <laughs> yeah because you're really getting out of course she doesn't, and then the guy just stabs her to death. Like wails on her, and they the... cover her with barbecue sauce, mm. and then end, end for her. In the meantime, 
the cops, like, they find more dead bodies, so they're getting, like, a posse. They're going to go into the woods and find this murderer. And they're also trying to find our guy. I also love the guy because it shows uh, the scene that shows him. He, like, finds a big-ass stick, and he's going to, like, stab the guy, And it's, like, mildly sharp at the top. I love this scene because they show him in the woods, and he's, like, he's, like, kind of going crazy because he's all grease-stricken. And for some reason, he lunges at a tree and is, like, ah! Just, like, stabs it for no... No reason. And just keeps walking. And then just keeps walking. Nothing. Maybe he's practicing. I don't know. But I'm guessing it he's looked practicing. a little ridiculous. But we never get any explanation. And then, like, in the meantime, the woman... So they, they drag the fucking woman out of the hospital along on their search posse. <laughs> and she's there at also... Like, well, I also love is like, beat for beat, the same conversation they have at yeah. the campsite about the crazy guy because they're like oh we gotta keep an eye on her we can't let she's her, we can't we can't let her out of our sight because she's gonna be gone and she's gone because she looks down and some someone just conveniently puts a machete like right at her feet <laughs> and she just stares at it and then she of course disappears and they're like well, ah, i just she- love how they like literally are i know talking about how they should keep an eye on her and then she just got nopes out it's if it's it's like the most efficient writing I've ever seen. It's just, I just like love how that happens twice. And my these favorite thing is the, the same inco- character. These are the most incompetent like hospital people I've ever well, seen. Well, it's the same character. It's like the doctor from the hospital is going along on the search posse. Her only exp- her only role in the movie is just to tell us when someone's going to snap. Mhm. And that's it. She knows. But yeah, she walks off and like so, it, they have to get some rest because it's nighttime at that point. Yeah, and while the girl's running through, and then daytime strikes, and the woman, so the the woman that was in the hospital finds the dude. They like start searching for the mountain man guy because they're gonna they're gonna kill him himself. And while the posse's looking everywhere, and they they find him, and we get like a a quick like little tussle as the guy like takes his shirt off and puts it on a fucking bush and well, he tricks and he like throws us he throws a spear like the freaking guy does and it hits him in the shoulder because he like, tricks the mountain man with the fucking bush and he hits the mountain man in the shoulder and, and he then falls then down they embrace and they're all like happy and then the mountain man like takes the stick and breaks it and like starts attacking them again and then they they run down a fucking mountainside and then the guy picks up a stick off the ground and throws it so hard at the mountain man that it, it, it hits his foot and apparently just fucking b- it breaks his goddamn foot. <laughs> like his a- tiny <laughs> stick because he just like buckles over like, ah, like Godzilla. And he, and he also drops the box. He drops the box earlier and we see it like moving around and then like the mountain man's on the ground and they walk up to him and the guy starts poking him. With his stick. While the girl, like, walks over with a machete. And, and they just... Step. I love this scene because you can see the actor for the mountain man laying on the ground. And you see the wooden, like, board. The board protecting the him. The board protecting him from getting stabbed. Like, just covered in barbecues. Well, you, you don't just see it. You hear it. Well, yeah. because And you can tell it's, like, they're hitting, like, wood. <laughs> like It's, thick, like, thunking. Like, like, thick wood. Because when the machete's hitting, it's not, like, puncturing anything. No. It's just going into wood. Yeah, it's like, but but you see it on camera, and it's like, I, you know, it looks so fake. I get what you're trying to do, but you should have maybe cover it up a little bit. Cover it up, or you know, you could have had a a shot of like penetration. I mean, look, our director is no fucking no no amateur to penetration. No, you could have had that, but no, instead He's no they, stranger to to the penetration to things going into things. Yes, and. But no, we just see them po- stabbing at a and fucking the wood. Posse sees them and they're like aiming their guns at them, and then they realize it's the two kids. And then the guys, the mountain man's dead, and so we see because they take everything's fine, everything's fine. Everyone just leaves the fucking mountainside, and then in the meantime, we see what's in the box, and it's the fucking baby from it's earlier. The fucking baby holding a little hatchet, a little baby hatchet, and, and like, just like slamming the ground with it. And then end the movie. Well, I love. I, I have to mention the dude, bro, sheriff. Like, looks at the two traumatized kids that just well, like, the, like snapped and killed a guy. Because well, the fucking the the tubbo is like 
but I love this because like he's like so like oblivious to like what the hell like oh, he's, all he's all just this, vibing, dude. Well, all this like fucking like traumatic shit happened, and he just sees them both like like fucked up, and he's like, "What a cute couple." Well, because right before that, it's the same scene. The the old the like bigger guy is just like you know, sometimes you really think, and then what a cute couple. <laughs> <laughs> wow like way to read the room bro like you know i you we should all be as positive <laughs> you go. we should all be as positive as this guy i love how that's his response to these two like traumatized teenagers <laughs> that are like have been through some fucked up shit they just killed a guy <laughs> they watched all their friends get murdered and everything <laughs> what a, what a cute couple it's amazing. I can't believe I can't believe that's the last line of the movie. That is the last line of the movie, yeah. <laughs> what a cute couple. That's how the movie ends, unless you count the the lovely song. Oh, yeah. We get a theme song. Mm-hmm. And it's a guy on a fucking guitar, and it's the most basic bitch song. <laughs> Literally. Uh, do you remember the lyrics? Let me it's look like, it up. It's like, don't go out in the woods tonight. You probably oh, will be thrilled. Don't go out in the woods tonight. You probably will be thrilled. Don't go out in the woods tonight. You probably will be killed. There's a friendly beast who lurks about and likes to feast. You won't get out without being killed and chopped up into little pieces. My favorite is that last line because it's just, he sounds he's, like he's, he's struggling to like, fit that all in one, like, verse yeah right like that's a little bit too much too many words for uh what you're trying to do there but they try nice try though solid attempt it sounds like a disney song it's baffling it sounds like a disney song you hear before going like down splash mountain or something yeah like seriously (laughs) it's fucking insane it's 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 nuts (laughs) After all this, that's what we get. That's that's the song. What a cute cute couple, and then a Disney theme park song. Such tone, <laughs> much tone. Oh man, such movie. This movie knows what to do. Dude, this movie is actually incredible for how fucking stupid it is. I'm not gonna. This is. <laughs> <laughs> it's brain dead. This is one of the stupidest things I've seen in a long time. But it's so entertaining that you can't hate oh, it. Oh, you know what I love? I, I like it was like one of my favorite comedies. What I love about this movie is there is not a minute of this movie where there isn't something going on. I love how the mountain man has like ratty hair. Then they just put like beads like going like, going in yeah, and sideways X on his like face. Yeah. And he's wearing, like, all these ratty clothes. I swear he has, like, a fucking handcuff. He, he has, does. like, all this random he's shit. Just, he's just, like, it looks like he just, like, dumpster dived and, like, yeah. found an outfit. This movie's incredible. This, this is, is, like, a... definitely a contender for best of the worst. Oh, dude, good luck topping this. Yeah. This is incredible. Like, it's so, so stupid. So stupid. But again, I just listen. I just fucking we, love. We always say this, but it's proof that anyone can make a movie. You can go up in a canyon and, and do just this. film a slasher movie, and it will probably uh, scratch that. It will be better than this movie. Will it be more entertaining though. No, that's the thing. It might be better made because you have more technology, but it will not be as entertaining. Because the thing this is, movie. like, this thing does not stop. No. And again, it's more proof for me that even bad, even bad, I do love me a slasher. If you're into, like, cheesy slashers, like, give this a watch. This... Especially with, like, friends and beer. I mean, I know it's hard right now to, like, get, like, a gathering yeah. going. But, like, w- once, you know, the world's not on fire, get a bunch of friends, sit down and watch, watch this. this movie with a lot of beer, and you'll have a blast this I is guarantee incredible. it. You'll you'll have such a good time with this movie, especially if you live in Utah. Yeah, because like, you know, it's kind of nostalgic too. Oh yeah. So. I mean, listen, it just adds for me. It adds to the charm. I mean, the obvious locations, and the S- fact that like again, it's our second movie of eighty one. That's like fucking R rated insanity filmed in Utah. So we um 
we got this through various means we did. that we can't go into. Um, it is on Tubi, with um, but with you ads. have to watch ads. So if you're okay with that, hit up. That's where you can watch it for free on Tubi. Um, hit it up. It's 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 a good time. Trust me, you will have a great time making fun of this movie. I guarantee it. Yeah, and there's nothing. Uh, I mean, I here's the thing. There's nothing off-putting about it. No, it's just a quick little like fun romp through the woods. Literally, that's it. It's literally some fucking brain dead idiot watched Friday the Thirteenth and wanted to do his own thing on it. Yes, that's literally what this is because that was it's just one a, year before this. It's such a basic slasher that does everything wrong in the yeah. best way possible. It is literally teens in the woods dying. Yep. Um, shitty to pretty. What would you get this? Just for I. Oh my god! I, if I'm going with sheer entertainment value, well, that's okay? what we always say. Yeah, shitty to pretty is about entertainment. It's, I was highly entertained by this because that's the thing is I laughed my ass off during this movie. It was so funny, and I think I give it an eight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate, I know it's weird to give it that high of praise, but like an eight because. Holy shit! Did I have a good time watching this movie? I had a, I had a gay old time, baby. Yes. So I also I. would give it an eight because, I mean, it's just, I don't know. There's something about these kind of movies. Yeah, it really is. Plus, I mean, I just appreciate the fact that it's like a bad movie and it's not trying to be, like, perp- like it's not trying to be a meme. Well, it's not pretentious either. Oh. Thank fucking God. Yeah, it's not pretentious. And boy, and like I said, the laughs, it just keep on coming. Yeah. Every minute of this movie, there is something going on. Exactly. Like at any point, because the thing is, it could have they could have made this a bad, boring movie. Yes, they could have. But it's not, which I appreciate. There's always something. Even if it makes no sense. I mean, 90% of the deaths in this movie, like 90% of the deaths in this are pointless. Yeah. They are literally in the movie to add on to the runtime. And you know what? I have no problem it's with that. It's a slasher film, though. That makes sense. Yeah, but usually in slasher movies, the people who die are like... Right, it's like the part of the group. Part of the group or like... But this is just random hikers. You know, they're involved in some way. This is just random hikers. We literally just... Person comes into frame... And dies. Yeah. That's the movie. It's like an assembly line. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and it's just, I, I, like, here's the thing. That's great. Because I'd rather have that than nothing. It keeps it well paced, though. Oh, which yeah. Which is interesting because well, only, again, it, only certain directors could do that where it's like. Like a porno director? Like, yeah. Well, where, it's like, you know, you have your plot, right? Which is our four, four Goombas walking in the woods. And then it's like, Okay. We've we've watched these guys for like three or four minutes. You know what I, I just realized? It's like a porno. Yeah. Think about it. Because you get the main story that no one cares about. And then the fucking. And then you get scenes of fucking. But in this case... It's and a just... symbol-y line of different people getting fucked. In this case, that's what in you this, get. In this case... <laughs> they're getting fucked. They're getting fucked in a different way, but... There's still like it's still like an assembly line of just people yeah. getting murdered instead of like fucked. Well, it's just like okay, we've had like three or four minutes of like our plot. Let's yeah. let's throw let's in spice it up a little bit. Audience is probably like we're losing the audience. You know what? Bravo. He yeah. Tur- he turned he turned the porno format into a horror movie. <laughs> Good for him. Good, good and he, for and, you. And you did all that, this. That's true innovation, and I can get behind that. And okay? you did all this in fucking Utah. Uh, great. Somehow. I, dude, that makes it even more hilarious, okay? <laughs> that that it just adds adds so much to it, especially since we just banned porn. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> supposedly won't be able to watch p- porn on your uh, mobile device anymore. I Bullshit. Good luck enforcing Good luck. that. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Um, but yeah. We're not a political podcast, though, so we won't get into that. No. Um, but I'm just. But it's just hilarious that a porno director took the porno format, put it put it into the fucking machine that make, pops out a fucking slasher movie, 
and, and, and uh, it works. And I it, don't know how it works, yeah. but it works. And for some ungodly reason, the place where they decided to do all this shit was uh, right here. Maybe that's why there's no nudity. I don't know. We had nudity in the boogans. Vi- but there's a lot of violence. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. We had it, nudity in the boogans. It's true. The boogans is more of an actual movie, though. This is fucking sub 100 IQ <laughs> stupidity that just this brain meltingly bad like dialogue. This is like th- this is like so st- this is one of those things where it's so stupid it like stumbles into genius. <laughs> it really does. It's, That's literally it's like this. lightning in a bottle. It's like that episode of Dexter's Lab where all he can say is omelet du fromage. <laughs> And everyone <laughs> thinks he's a fucking genius. I love when, That's, when he whispers in the girls ear, oh, I'm not doing for Ah, I love French. It's the language of love. That's literally this in the movie. Like, they just stumble into genius. And, like, this is incredible. I unironically love this movie. And uh, th- the fact that it's filmed here, I mean, I'm kind of biased. Cherry on top. It's the cherry on top for me. Yeah, that's that's about it. That is it. Uh, for they mostly come out at night. This has been Will. This has been Alex. Talk to y'all later, you bags of bitches. <laughs> Say uncle. Say bag, uncle of bitch. bag of bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs>